just, just, just give your general impressions of the game and what you thought. I'm really, uh, you know, when you play a game like this and has, has the significance that this game had, and you go in at halftime, and the other team has shot 60%, and we're down seven. As crazy as that sounds, you feel pretty good about yourself in the sense that you feel like, you know what, this could have been really bad. And I told the guys at halftime, if you take our 43 and you multiply it by two, 86 is probably enough to win the game. And, you know, I said the only problem is not if we continue to allow them to do what they did. And to these guys' credit, we didn't change any schemes. We didn't do anything different. We didn't do that, nothing, nothing. And uh, to these guys' credit, they got a lot. I don't, know, I don't know if they were just overwhelmed by the 5,000 people. And then you got to give our administration great credit. You guys don't know this because you were at the game, but at 7 o'clock the billboard changed, and it thanked Jacksonville for supporting the Ospreys in, in, in those games. And for the last five hours it's going to talk about thanking Jacksonville. So our administration was really locked in to making sure people understand what UNF is all about and what UNF stands for. And you got to give our administration credit for that. As far as the, the you know, 46 rebounds, obviously, we were 313 in the country last year. We're 122nd. We knew that the difference this year to separate us was to do that. And, and you know, to these guys' credit, they were able to, to perform. Uh, Travis, uh, what was it like to have a 27.19 rebound night in front of the man who specialized in his whole career, Artis Gilmore, sitting courtside? Hey, it was a great feeling. I want to give credit to my teammates just allowing me to do what I do. And the coach put me in positions to be able to rebound. And we have kind of a technique of where to rebound. I try to get there most of the time. So I mean, the ball happened to fall a lot of times where I was. And I just had to uh, get the ball and figure out what I'm going to do with it. I mean, it's simple. It's really, really not much to it. <laughs> Rebound's all about wanting. It's not it's nothing to do with skill. If you want it, you go get it. Yeah, but it, it was a lot of individual moves by you that got your points and got the rebounds. Yeah, so it wasn't just teammates and and I don't know how many times I came down the court and dribbled and, and had isolation. So I believe they, they put me in the right position and coach called the right plays at the right times for me and I just tried my best to finish. Could you talk a little bit about the atmosphere tonight, which was obviously very electric. You had a very good atmosphere last week on this <laughs> golf course, but obviously it seems like with JU the intensity is ratcheted up a notch. And the atmosphere was great. I want to thank the students, especially uh, after losing the uh, Florida Gulf Coast game. They still believed in us. They still came out and supported us. And this time we ended up on the right side of the column, with the left side, but you know, right hasn't correct side of the column. But we want in. Thank you. Yeah, left side. Just called the left side. <laughs> <laughs> Had you seen a game like this coming for him in the three years that you've been here? You know, what's funny is uh, somebody asked me today, I know it was, it was the uh, A Sun. I did A Sun radio this morning. And the guy asked me about what Travis Wallace meant to me. And, uh, and I got emotional uh, on the phone with him. And if you guys only knew, if you guys only knew what, what's going on in his life and uh, to where he is now and going to walk across the stage and get his degree. And he's had some struggles lately. And he's got some single digits. I think he's had three maybe straight games of single digits maybe. Two. Yeah, two? OK. And, uh, so he, he just, he, uh, I love him, and um, I'm just, I'm happy for, uh, for him on an individual performance because he's definitely worked to have that. Could you talk a little bit about what Dallas did in the last uh, couple minutes? Because these games do come down sometimes to plays that get made at crunch time, and he, even, even the reverse layup that he missed made it, made it an easy slam dunk somebody else plus the team on two other backs. When uh, Coach Evans was here, one of our assistants, who is just a phenomenal human being, sometimes when Parker would do things, I would say to him, what's Parker? What is he doing? And he would just make those shots, you know what I mean? And Coach would say, his quote was, he's balling. That's what he would say to me. And that's what he is. He's just balling. That's what he does. And, and, I, and I talked to him a little bit. I thought he was a little tentative to start the game. And I shared with him that he needed to be a little bit more aggressive. I said, not necessarily getting shots, but, but just being a little bit more aggressive. Because he's, he, he, he's a special, special kid. And he's got an ability to really do something. Because he can, he can, he's so quick. He can get to end to end so quick. 
and um, he just he's got that little stuff that he does, you know. He's got these um, these finishes that he does, and he's able to turn his thumb, which is a great skill, to just have enough English. He made one the other day; it was it was unbelievable. He's he's got all that stuff, and that's what he's done his whole high school career. So he, he's just balling. That's just that's just what he does. Coach, you're in uncharted waters at five and two in the league. Can this team handle prosperity that it's experienced so far? Are you asking? Is this for me? Yeah, for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was just a, the next game. I mean, we're we're five and two now. We're in third place, and we go to East Tennessee State, a place that we've never won. We've never won there. So you know, we just keep you know whatever. We're five. We're the fastest to five wins ever. You know, you know, every day it's a. It's a new one ever, but but my point is, you know, these guys these guys have a bigger goal. These guys have a bigger mission, and our process <coughs> that we have in our culture is 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 coming to fruition. And and to their credit, they've been disciplined to it. We, we talked. Uh, this is interesting. Um, tomorrow, when are we practicing? Sunday. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, we'll tell them that you know the loud noises of results need to become deafening to what we're on to do next. They need to enjoy this, definitely. We're off tomorrow, I'm going recruiting, it'd be great for me. So, you know, it's, 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 these guys have been very, very, very steady, very steady about this whole thing. And that, and it's really helped me. 